And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to create rounded corners in Illustrator. Let us activate the rectangle tool. I'll hold shift while dragging and now I've got a perfect cube. So width and height are the same. I'll give it a black stroke and no fill. And I'll increase the stroke size so that we can see it properly. When you select it, you see these round icons in every corner and you can use them to create rounded corners just simply by dragging them inwards. And now every corner has been rounded and we can, with a perfect cube, even make a circle out of it. If we drag another rectangle that's not a perfect cube, so width and height are different, we can't create circles. We can just drag the corners depending on the relation between width and height, so keep that in mind. Let us create a new perfect cube, I'll hold shift for that. And now I want to only have one around the corner and I use the direct selection tool for that and I click on the specific anchor point and now I only get this circle icon in the corner that I want to make round. Let me create a new one once more holding shift. Then I press A for the direct selection tool. I click on the anchor point and I drag the circle inwards. It's that simple. Now what if we want to make two rounded corners on top? We simply use the direct selection tool once more and select both of them. And drag the little circles inwards. There's another way to create rounded corners that was used in prior versions of Illustrator. Just select it, go to Effects, Stylize and Round Corners. Make sure Preview is selected and you can see it's the same effect. It's much easier to simply select your corners using the Direct Selection Tool or the Selection Tool and dragging these little circles inwards. And this is how you can create rounded corners in Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.